to our state of addiction, Santa Cruz County has a new law on the books that requires pharmaceutical companies to pay for the safe collection and disposal of unused medications and needles. Action News reporter Phil Gomez has more. It's called the Extended Producers Responsibility Ordinance and was introduced to make it easier for residents to get rid of their unwanted sharps and prescription medications. Now the cost to dispose of them shifts from the county and city coffers directly to the companies that manufacture the drugs. Countywide our estimate is this is going to save us twenty to thirty thousand dollars a year. So it's, it's a significant expense that uh, the taxpayers and local governments will no longer have to bear. It's also better for the environment, as oftentimes outdated or unused medications are flushed down the toilet where wastewater treatment plants are not equipped to remove the drugs. The city of Santa Cruz is considering three agencies to manage the collection service, one of which will be chosen in late June to oversee the program. Due diligence is also telling them the kinds of data we need, because we need to be able to follow up and know how successful we've been in removing what types of pharmaceuticals from wastewater and surface waters. New drop-off sites along with existing ones will accept unneeded medications, sharps and other hazardous medical products. Capitola now requires all five pharmacies in the city to provide the service. We will be working on public outreach to make sure everybody understands it because it is a difficult thing. I mean, sometimes people have a lot of medicine that they, they just don't know what to do with. Horse Snyder's Pharmacy has been at the forefront of collecting and disposing of sharps and outdated medicine. But pharmacist Mark Wilson believes more publicity could bring in more. We still collect about 20 to 30 pounds of syringes and 20 to 30 pounds of outdated medications. And it seems to be pretty leveled off. All local pharmacies will provide free disposal of sharps. And there are three public sharp disposal sites, two in Santa Cruz, like this one on Emmeline Street, and one in Watsonville. The counties and cities will determine whether more are needed. In Santa Cruz, Phil Gomez, KSBW, Action News 8. And Saturday is a National Drug Take Back Day. There will be many more locations set up to take your unused prescriptions on that day. Uh, we have a list of special law enforcement collection sites that will be set up around the Central Coast. We also have a link to a special interactive map where you can find the location nearest you. You'll find all of it on our website. That's KSBW.com. Just visit the special State of Addiction section.